Following a successful environmental impact assessment, the prestigious Batoka Gorge hydropower project is ready for commencement. Located 50 kilometers downstream the Victoria Falls on the mighty Zambezi River, the 2,400 megawatts power plant will become the third largest in Africa under the management of the Zambian and Zimbabwean governments. We have projects that already have been assessed, feasibility studies done. We have one, for example, hydro project which is 2 gigawatts, um, 2,000 megawatts. Um, we call it Batoka, and we would like the IFC to look at Batoka Gorge. We would like the IFC to look at this project. With uh, this uh, de uh, development of uh, the Batoka, it is going to ease uh, the current shortfall that is obtaining uh, in, the, in, in the region by that contribution of around 2,400 megawatts. The two governments are using COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt, to explain the return of investing in this project in a bid to woo potential investors. 2,400 megawatt, which is going to cost us between $4 billion to $5 billion. Where is this money coming from? Good question. And that's why we are here. So we are here to explore the opportunity of getting what we call concessional financing. You know, when you are talking about green energy, the cost of, you know, money costs money. And the cost of that money is called interest. So when you are talking about renewable energy, you have opportunities for participants to give you money either as grants, or those of you that can give you money can give you money at a lower interest cost. It, it's called concessional interest. Senior Chief Mokuni of Kazungula District, whose chief demo who housed the project, is eager to see it start. Um, you know, there's this Batoka Hydro project. Yes. It's a green project. So we, we have 3,000 hectares worth on title as a Mukundi Development Trust, where we are going to host the green project in, uh, in, in the Batoka Dam. With climate change experts focused on clean energy initiatives, the Batoka Gorge Hydropower Project will offer an energy mix solution. If you heard the presentation, there was an element of uh, wanting to mirror it or rather to do a hybrid with uh, solar so that um, whenever we can, we can use solar, which is more useful in the day and then in the night we can use the hydro. So that hybrid uh, with the issue of climate change is actually what, is, what we have to promote. Once up and running, the project will cater for the energy needs of the region and beyond. The project will also create direct and secondary employment for thousands of people. Meru Mekisa, ZMC News, Shamoshek, Egypt.